you guys doing? It's been such a long time since I have talked to you guys. I have been a little bit busy the past few months. That's why I kind of neglected this channel again. I've been uploading footage from last year because I just filmed so much in Korea. So I'm still uploading that. So yeah, I've been home for a really long time now and I actually started an internship in the meantime. And today is actually my last day. So for the past five months, I've been just working full time. I've been also balancing a few um, uni courses on top. And because I was so busy all the time, I just, I was, I don't know, I was so out of energy. Whenever I didn't work, I just felt so exhausted that I just laid around and did nothing. It was just working eating and sleeping and nothing else. I decided to take things slow this year because up until now I have always been rushing myself to be the best, to do things as fast as I can and I don't even know why. I tend to set really high expectations for myself and whenever I don't meet those expectations, I would just feel very disappointed. I could still be doing a very good job, like these could be my expectations and I could be about here and I would still feel so disappointed just because I, I didn't meet those expectations. I would constantly find myself worrying and stressing about everything like the big decisions of course and the small decisions like the tiniest things and it just took a toll on my mental state. There was a time where I was like so indifferent to life. I didn't have a lot of things that I was looking forward to. For me, it was just like waking up, doing the things that I need to do, and then going to bed again. That's like the daily life that I had. And that's why going to Korea was so important to me because to me, it was a chance to sort out my thoughts again, to take a little break from my daily life, from my responsibilities, to be away from my environment for like a few months and just I don't know like welcome a new side of life I had such an amazing time in Korea and when I was there I tried to enjoy every single moment of my life and I realized like life can just be so beautiful and why do I only feel this way when I'm on vacation and I just came to the realization that I put myself under so much stress that I just can't handle. So long story short, all the things that I stressed out about, worried about, they turned out fine. There is no reason for me to put myself under so much pressure, set myself such high expectations. And my only goal right now is to enjoy life again. I would definitely continue vlogging. I just find so much joy in it and I have to be honest, I miss it so much. And I decided to start a new series called Healing. So Healing with my name in it. <laughs> you guys know that I love board games. I put my name in every single word that exists. We have Stilinski, which is inspired by Stan Stilinski from Team Wolf, who is, by the way, my favorite character of all time. We have Lin Korea, so Lin or Lin in Korea. We have Berlinski, Lin in Berlin, and He Ling. I will stop the Berlinski series for now. I know, like, let's just ignore that there's just one video up for that series but um, when all of this is over when there's no more restrictions when i can meet up with friends again when i can go outside normally again i will continue that series and i will show you around in berlin i will take you to some cute cafes um restaurants my favorite hangout places all of that like i did in korea but for now i will take you on my <laughs> home body journey. I know that a lot of you haven't been feeling so well since everything started like with the lockdown and all the restrictions and I totally understand. I mean I'm not that much of an outgoing person anyway like I like to spend time at home but even on me it's taking a toll. I've been getting so many comments saying that my videos make you happy and that you guys are looking forward to my videos so much and it's such a shame that I'm not uploading like a lot of videos right now and first of all like I am so thankful for all the support and I'm 
so happy when I read those comments. Um, I would definitely, and I promise, be more active on YouTube again, and maybe Instagram, and maybe TikTok. I would try my best to get back on my weekly uploading schedule, whether it be a vlog, a makeup video, a, I don't know, like, I don't read other videos, um, but I will try to upload weekly again. I just want to be like a friend to you, someone you can lean on to when you're having a hard time, when you're sad, when you're feeling bored, when, when you're happy. If you're looking for a person to kill time with, here I am. We can look for new hobbies together, we can go and cute home cafe dates, we can, I don't know, watch K-dramas together. So what I'm saying is you're always welcomed on this channel and let's just enjoy life together okay guys i need to go back to work i've been talking to you for like two hours now um but yeah i will check in with you throughout the day like i said i will be taking you with me throughout the week this video is so long already it's going to be such a pain to edit to my team for like the third time but for real now and i feel so sad i knew i was going to be a little sad but now i'm sadder than i expected to be but at the same time i'm also very relieved that my internship is finally over and that i have time to breathe again <laughs> yeah i just feel so weird to not be part of the team anymore i am very very thankful for everything that I've learned then for all the amazing people that I got to know and yeah I'm feeling so emotional right now um stop it <laughs> I'm closing all the tabs right now and it, it just gets so weird shining so much right now I love spring I've been laying around for four hours straight and I'm getting hungry so let's get some food There are so many things that I want to do, but I don't know where to start. I don't know why, but lately I have been so obsessed 
with home cafe vlogs so I kind of went crazy on Aliexpress so I guess I'm going to do a little haul now let's start with the boring stuff so ice trays I got two ice trays and this one is just a very basic one I don't know one side is like flat and the other side is rounded and it just looked really cute so I got it and the other one is a bit more exciting this kind of went viral on TikTok it's the mini ice cubes and I don't know the mini ice cubes just look so pretty and cute and I usually don't even put ice in my drinks but TikTok made me buy it so yeah these two and then I got some metal straws these came in this cute bag so we have three straws and two like cleaning brushes I got these two thin ones and one of them is kind of bended and this big one for boba I haven't used them yet I still need to clean like everything but um, a very cute set then I got this wooden tray very unnecessary but I think the drinks would look just so cute on top of it then I also got a matcha whisk I haven't had a matcha latte in so long and I kind of miss drinking it every day <laughs> I also saw these in um, those home cafe videos so I just wanted to get one <laughs> I ordered a few glass cups and I'm so excited about these um, they're still inside the boxes so let me unbox them this is the first one it's called the chunky glass it has a very basic and simple design but for some reason it just looks very aesthetic this one feels a lot sturdier than the other ones I'm about to show you this is the next one it definitely looks a little bit more interesting than the other one let me put it on the tray doesn't it look so cute according to Aliexpress it has a mountain shape I don't know if that is like the correct term for the shape um, but let's just go for it <laughs> the chunky glass cup fits about 400 milliliters and I think this one should be around 300 and last but not least is this one if you have also been following like those home cafe TikToks, Instagram posts, videos, everything um, then I think this might look familiar to you I don't know if this shape has a specific term but it looks like a can and I'm very excited to use this one and the last thing is this cute little jug um, you guys know I'm terrible with descriptions but I hope you can see the cute detailing it just looks very cute and dreamy and fancy I don't know these things have been laying around for at least two weeks so I think I'm going to clean them now and then we will do something fun my friends got me something really cool for my birthday last year and it's this i think it's called coloring by numbers in english if you don't know what it is basically you get a painting and it's divided into different color sections and every color is assigned to a number so for example if number one is um the color red you just paint the section red um yeah so very simple i'm pretty sure you know what that is so my friends got me this and the cool thing is it's actually a photo taken by Fang when we were in Korea and they called it Starry Night in Seoul so very beautiful let's open this baby up oh my god I'm so excited right now this is the canvas that I will be painting on I don't I don't I'm not quite sure if you can see it it also comes with a template so in case you paint it over some numbers you can still check them on the sheet of course we have the color and it looks so cute like you have those small painting pots and you can actually put them into like this I don't know, paper palette and you also get a brush and a kind of like a top coat so yeah i am going to set up my little art space now so if you're in the mood for painting then you can join me and if you're not you can still join me <laughs> next color i don't know which one to go for i kind of want to do the blue one or should i do pink 
I think I'm going to go for blue.